Yeah, I think the balls did help a lot during that, but they would have gotten more attacks off. Funny I don't step. know. I... Oh. oh, nice dodge. He actually went in for the snowball, which dodges from the blast of Nikwa. And uh, oh, with, bottle, bottle, with very good bottle charges, he'll survive on 19 life. And this will invite Taneko to chase after Nikwa. Nikwa needs more life here. The fire food's coming out. He'll burn out at the moment. So far down. No, he lives on 12 life. The spirits were not enough damage because we still have to keep in mind that the support getting Phoenix and yeah, oh, they're coming no. in behind the tower. Live and denies himself the neutral creep, and then he gets tossed around once again by this tiny. I mean, this is just great play coming in from the help out Denny. It feels like they need to have always want to fly with the TP. I feel. Oh no, 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 no! He snowballed. Bottom lane, Phoenix just wasn't the dream. You have a nice socket rotated. It's night time and you're initiating into Pie Cat. Who now slide a fist you down? The movement from the nine stalker was perfect, and these aggressive war. Look at sexy bamboo. He's got 1800 gold. Is he gonna get a fast blink dagger and just one shot everybody? Yep. Oh exactly what bamboo does too. Uh, he, uh, he's going after Dandy. There's a lot more support here. Always gonna find the neighborhood. These with balls have been soaked up mostly, and EGM trying to become a little bit more of a, of a sponge Dandy. Okay, that urn is gonna tick him out. He knew he was gonna die. Bamboo still dies as well. But almost every hero of Na'Vi has come to this middle lane. The Steel too? Yeah. Ah, uh, pings are coming out. The pings are coming out right now for Fiends. It's like, yeah, boys. A home insurance has been taken away. Funic, nice little move up. Actually dodges the avalanche. Point off the toss. And the spirits from EGM are still doing some serious work. But he needs to get that tether back up again, which he does not have, which means Sexy Bamboo having all the damage right out of him. Doesn't stop the nice look from coming in and punching him, but allows Denny to finish up the job over on Bamboo. That's just diving a little bit too division here. It's really helpful and did yeah once he gets his blink dagger it's gonna be looking really good i wonder if he does rush blink you need to go blink or blade mill i think oh, he's gonna be gone on top lane he could be in trouble he hasn't skilled up his ultimate either yet no now he just did so that's good holding that point just in case it's just, oh, they're uh, going just they want funic look at the movement speed from this dice stalker with the face roots as well he just wants to punch funic down he'll be denied however because of the snowball they come back out of it but bamboo comes in they actually burn the egg at the uh, the reincarnation. The Tusker might be dead. EGM regenerating up, bringing that nice looker back from the grave, and they go after Didira once again, punching him down. Nikwa's attack won't be enough. Bamboo's fist, however, will be. And behind the tower, they also found out Snakeo's Phoenix. Where are you, Dandy? Walking home. Cool. Eight minute blink dagger. Eight minute blink dagger on Bamboo. It's the dream for Bamboo, and I think Dandy's dead. Nice Stalker comes in with a Void having EGM behind him. The Wisp Zero Balls are enough damage. And that is a very easy pick off. You might have taken out the stacks, but you're still sitting at the 6th highest net worth and armor Attack. as this Night Stalker. It's just perfect play. Execution. They're just rotating around, like you said, the uh, first time. fly. You don't want to do oh, this. Bamboo oh. blink forward. Fly. Trying to throw Bamboo on the cliffside, but that won't work. Then he can't pull enough damage out for him. They walk underneath the Observer Ward. Always when a fly will we'll die. EGM already has the urn up as well, so all these kills just give more and more ammunition to force C and L. Look away. This is brutal. And if he dies right now, bamboo? What? Okay, yeah, that that's that's an easy kill. That's there's no, there's no there's no way you can TP in for that. Like if you think you can fade ball to creep way back when bamboo has a blink tagger, he will go you every time. And you almost have to assume it's Navi too that there is good observer wards all through their own jungle. Yeah, you put down two sentries to try and get rid of this, but... Okay, they're going top. Yeah, they're coming off the raid thing. A blink forward from Bamboo. He blinks just far enough that he doesn't actually break the tether either. This this game is quickly, quickly being lost for Na'Vi. They're setting up they're, a mid lane here. Yeah, but EGM can oh, just tether away. You get a snowball after him, but you got Winter's Curse available here for Nikwa. They cold embrace over an Io, and now you actually trigger Nova. You toss Funic back on Radiant side. Iron may die, but there's your curse. Locking down Funic, keeping any control for Roman Bamboo does not have mana to play with. So the Fiends is enjoying this, chasing up after him. Mecha, however, is okay, maybe not so enjoying this. He's already burnt through his Nova. His Icarus side didn't give him any advantage because he came straight back again. 
Dandy has to stand his ground of battle. Pycat, he'll be protected by this cold embrace. No sign of fist just Get yet. If your theory changed in one second, but it was too long. Now you're Nine Stalker. You're almost top set worth on the field. Try and chase that the plus field that's considerable damage to forcing an L. But the split blast, it doesn't reach Dandy, but it doesn't stop Penbu! He just runs up! EGM spirits! Penbu was actually a vessel for EGM to pawn. And now he has to get himself away. There's a double damage rune in the bottom river, but is it worth it? Each DM's gonna turn the down. He'll end up bottling that up. Bringing Bamboo back up to life as well as mana, and always wanna fly. Well, gets a good pick up over on Bamboo. But now, oh. they toss in the wisp. EGM taking out the Rubik. He activated the double damage rune. That is a blue wisp. Who now is trying to stay alive up against Funic? Won't happen if he gets Walrus punched down. And Tuska, only 389 gold for that kill. EGM feels like it's worth so much more. Yeah, they could be making some synergizing well is when Rating dies, and then they Icarus dive over the top, and they put Fire Spirits and use the egg. Like, that's the only way their lineup synergizes. They're going again. Relocates on the way, they silence up Dandy Bamboo. Needs to get this kill before support will arrive, and Dandy just punch him once more. Oh, the snowball, it protects Dandy, it's chasing up the Nine Stalker, however, and EGM gets the ball out. The Nova will come down. The Dandy, well, Dandy is already down. Nine Stalker cannot be protected long enough by this cold embrace. The stun will connect, but no, he lives in 140 life. Wants to earn back up again, but Phoenix will be there with the support from the Fade Bolt. Sun, Jinny uh -oh. chasing Bamboo? up the Bamboo, he needs to force up, he needs to get away, the Sunray will come, he turns around for the Avalanche toss, but... Oh, Jinny Ra will end up surviving through all of that. Go 20 minutes. <laughs> we have 40 kills in 14 minutes. And Bamboo went Why not? It's a fighting positional game. It's just so funny, it's it's like I'm so far ahead I can buy anything I win. I mean, okay. I can't win He's jumping mid, he's going for always on a fly. He's burning to the flame guard. There's nothing more he could do there. And then you actually find another target. It's gonna be fun to go over in the tree line. Snowball to protect who's he going on. EGM or Pike and it's EGM. And EGM just keeps his spirits in close. And finds the kill over on the Tusker. Always want to fly his level 6 now. This, this is where Navi turns, mm -hmm. so this is... I guess you could say the biggest thing is that Tiny is not transitioning into a... Well, he's dead, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just watching Bamboo because it's so funny. It's just, you know something's gonna happen. Oh, I got that first step. He was baiting out the... the that, you'll he just never blindfolded know. the enemy team. Yeah, basically. The third one also understands that uh, Raging is farming. You can kill him and put that reincarnation on the cooldown. That's still worth it because it's such a long cooldown time. And where do you go? Like, you got your armor. Good luck toggling that one with a Wisp Spirit that's in so close. There goes your reincarnation. They snowball in. Each GM will get punched down. And Bamboo and Nick Watt, this isn't the greatest position in the world for them. There is still that TP out. Nick Watt cannot Arctic burn himself away. He can cold embrace himself and maybe buy a little bit of time, but that's all. And actually, he really should have. Yep, he gave away Cuss. Always want to fly. He's not looking too bad himself, but the rest of his team is, is definitely struggling. Pycat wants to go bottom lane. That reincarnation is still on cooldown for another 108 seconds, and look for the relocate. It's coming in for Fan Boo. Starts with a double avalanche pass. Actually repositioned Navi before that fight began. And Navi wanted to fight. They came in with three other smoke heroes for this. But they couldn't reach him. They just push him forward. There's that force up from Bamboo. Actually pushing the dinosaur closer. Now they're able to reach up. It's a good Solon curse from always on a fly. The way to form damage, you get a Solon toss. But he's still getting hit with pebbles. Ronick considering his old name. Ah, uh, there's no bowling in. Where's the extra hit? No, Night Stalker has the void available. So Tuscar is down. High cap. No spirits to jump with. The bamboo just jumps himself forward. Now get the steering chase and always want to fly. The Sunray's going to do a little bit of work, but Bamboo hits the avalanche into Soneko. Pycat just wants out. Leaves a spirit behind. There's no stuns to stop him. And he can just come straight back in front of Soneko if he wants to. That's why Diddy Ra pushes forward EGM. Keep going, man. Keep going. The Hellfire Blast. He actually got so far away <laughs> that Navi can't do anything against him. Pycat came back to his spirit, but... What are they going to do? They're actually TPing to the tier 2 tower to try and catch up to Pycat. He's going to spirit him one second time. His flame guard's already up. 
And now with the Searing Chains, gets a little bit of space. They'll pick him up and throw him down. The side of Fist will not be enough to dodge out this attack from Na'Vi. But they are now just turning this into five-man Dota with now 50 kills in 18 minutes. Brit, so maybe this they is, can this is where you look. travel in 10 seconds to the, the wagon at the bottom. Oh, you're right, he got BT, didn't he, before he got the Battle Fury. Bamboo. Oh, they find always when to fly, pick him up. He'll end up stealing cost. Rochelle is only halfway through with Funic. Silence no. up, in comes Bamboo. Goodbye, Funic. <laughs> and where is Ember Spirit coming? He BTs himself in the mid lane, but they're just chasing in. They're going ham all over Diddy Ra. Where's that Nova? It's on the cliff side, so a really nice position, but. You've just got forcing an L. They run up the hill towards Navi. There goes your reincarnation again. Put it back on cooldown for another two minutes. And maybe there's a fault. The curse over on Dandy, allowing Bamboo to pop the razor. Always gonna fly. He's spirit jumping himself away from the Ember Spirit. Lamau. And now the force up forward. You can't spirit jump from that. Not when the force up there to help him. Navi will lose four in the fight. They don't finish up Roshan. And now Force now will take it for themselves. They, they got a pretty crappy Roche lineup themselves, but don't see how Navi are gonna get the kills. Like, this is all they have to do. That's the best thing about 4CL's lineup. They just run at you and Denny's they win, dead. or they split push you and win. Denny's actually dead. Like, they're gonna relocate in. That's the damage assistant there for the Night Stalker. The Bamboo. Grab a couple of Centaurs on the side of, of Dendi. Well, they're gonna be relocating back. This is uh, potentially a lot of damage. You got Nickel here already, though. Like oh, EGM, yeah. like, Snicker is perfectly positioned to protect him. You got the BTs coming in as well from Flycatch. You're gonna pick up on Bamboo. Son of Fist controls up Rubik. He's got that Spirit, but it's only right next to Pycat. The return then Siri changes like I'm watching a Rubik Ember Spirit battle. As Ember, he is just out of range. He's got Aegis though. Yeah, he does. But he at least didn't die to the Nova. He'll survive through it. And the Nine Stalker keeps the run going. Sounds over on the Phoenix, so there's no way he can get himself out. There's no Icarus type anyway, and the side of Fist Searing Chains. Diddy Ra will die right in front of the tier 3 tower, while 4 C and L, five of their players just bearing down on top of him. There he goes. The race game will pop once again. 148 seconds until he's got reincarnation back up. Had to lose the tier 2 tower. This is good enough. Snowball potentially could set something up, but. They just don't have enough setup for the Phoenix to actually work. Nice Stalker is waiting for this. He wants to relocate assistance, and now he's going to get it. Avalanche Toss will be there, and Didi Ra is down for the count. 42 seconds, but he does have buyback available. And Navi are moving forward. They're trying to get the tether position again, but Wyvern, he curses over on Tuska. They start the Nova. The Bamboo and Whisper already here to pick up. Ah, oh, they kill him off before he finishes the job. EGM has a bloody Reva. He's so bloody tanky. How do you stop that? He tethers away. That's how you do it. You steal 224 points of damage, and you find yourself a killer standing. That's the way to do it. The Bamboo takes everything from you and gives nothing back. Navi completely team wiped. 46 to 20 is now our kill counter. And that top tier 3 tower will be attacked in just a chippy. <laughs> they could even go mid if they wanted to. I mean, all these lanes are pressured in. And then, yeah, Wiss. Wiss is great for that because then you can you just get the fast level 6. Like, we saw how potent that was this game. 6 minutes, uh, or 9 minutes. Smoke break. Hi, Mike. Gets the shards over from Nine Stalker. This should be a gem into their hands, but Nine Stalker, the Glimmer Cape, and the oh relocate God, out right. to safety. They took him all the way home. They're High cap nickel. Too. Yeah, they're coming they're to coming fight to this. Peace. They really want this. Bamboo is going to hit the ground right now. No force up. They actually got the pickup of the telekinesis in the middle of it, but look at the cleave damage. They still can't kill him. The Nova Pop will help them, but. Double damage over on an Ember Spirit. They curse on Dendi. There's nowhere to go. He's literally being killed by his own team right now. The Raging Blade Mel will return a little bit of this damage, but when I say little, I mean little. Night Stalker needs a way down off this cliffside. Bit of a problem where they relocate it back onto. Is that, well, the Shards do keep this fight split up. So Nako knows they're kind of isolated up here, but. Diddy Rod's got nowhere to go. The Snowball will protect him for a moment, jumping in off for EGM, but EGM protect again by this cold embrace. The Slide of Fist is all up to Pycat to do the work. Tani's still down for the count, but now finally the Night Stalker down on the ground, and Phoenix down for the count. Rubik is the only one alive back at base because he respawned. And GG, 
Finally, the call is made. It has only taken 72 kills in 29 minutes. But Navi will say game number one of this best of three is over. Four CNL will take it. That, that was just punished. And that, that's a drafting punishment, to say the least. That was really well played from 4CL all over.